friends welcome back to all in on law guys today's topic of discussion is a microbiology micro biology and this is a medical video lecture medical video lecture on classification of cocci bacteria cocci so guys this is a really very important topic and this type of teaching definitely will help you to remember for a longer time okay guys and this is a really very important topic for USMLE we in our channel that's all on law we have so many video lectures on microbiology from anatomy to the medicine okay so guys please keep on sharing our videos please thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends okay guys so and daily we are uploading new videos in our channel so let's start and okay now let's talk classify the cocci okay first thing what i would like to do to classify the cocci i'm going to put the gram stain and see and classify into two types so gram stain gram stain gs okay gram strain so we call it a gram straining okay gram strain and if it's a positive i'm going to write over here and negative over here if it's a positive then think of two species that's staph and strep staph and strep if it's a negative then think of a family that is known as a nisseria n okay right so let me complete the nisseria one because it's a smaller one because we have a two nisseria organisms that's a nisseria meningitis and nisseria gonorrhea right so nisseria meningitis and nisseria gonorrhea should be differentiated by a test or do you know that's what maltose fermentation maltose fermentation if it's a positive then it's a nisseria meningitis nm okay and if it's a negative then it's a nisseria gonorrhea right so we close the topic cocci is divided into the uh, gram positive cocci and the gram negative cocci gram negative cocci is divided into what you call um, um nisseria and uh, gram positive we have two species staph staph species and a strep species right well let's move on to the other classification of gram strain positive gram positive cocci Now the next test what you need to do is catalase test Okay so catalase test if it's a positive or it can be a negative Okay if it's a positive then it's staph staph family the staphylococcus species and if it's a negative it's going to be strep species right so guys which test tell me which test will differentiate whether it's a staph or a strep it's a catalase right excellent now the staph is divided again by another test that is a coagulase coagulase and coagulase test can be positive and can be negative if it's a positive then it's a staphylococcus aureus okay and if it's a negative again we are going to do some other test that is a sensitive or resistance to no 
basin no basin okay so did you get me guys I'm gonna further divide this no basin sensitive whether it's a sensitive or uh, resistant okay let me do or here only let's see if it's, it can be a sensitive or it can be a resistance if it's a sensitive then it's a staphylococci epidermis epidermidis staphylococci epidermidis okay and if it's a resistance then it's a staphylococci saprophyticus right right got it remember if it's a resistant it is staphylococci saprophyticus and if it's sensitive it's staphylococci epidermidis right good now let's move on to the streptococcus species in other what do you call them? screen okay now streptococci how did we classify streptococci from a staphylococci it's a catalase test okay now the streptococci species we divide on the hemolysis right alpha hemolytic beta hemolytic and gamma hemolytic okay it's a called as gamma is also called as a group d group d okay so alpha hemolytic we call it as a aptochin 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 test whether it's sensitive or whether it's a resistant whether it's a sensitive or whether it's a resistant if it's a sensitive tell me the which is that organism that is a sensitive to optochin it's a half alpha hemolytic it's a streptococcus species and catalase negative but the gram positive cocci what's that very important that is strep pneumonia very important guys okay if it's resistant to optochin then viridans groups okay viridans group vg we can call it as a, we have as sanguis and mutants sanguis and mutants right good in a beta hemolytic we do what do you call tas that is known as a pacitracin pacitracin and pacitracin can be sensitive can be resistant if it's a sensitive it's group a group a streptococci pyogenes right yes pyogenes look streptococci group a streptococci pyogenes are sensitive to basitrin they are beta hemolytic beta hemolytic the streptococci catalase negative gram positive cocci okay now if it's a resistance basitrin in then it's a group B streptococci agalactiae okay agalactiae right got it excellent now if it's a gram what do you call a gamma hemolytic or group D because they are called as a gamma hemolytic because there is no hemolysis okay here we don't do any sensitive or resistant test we here we check for the growth in 6.5 percent of nacl sorry nacl okay let's see if it's positive or it can be negative sorry this is negative okay it's a positive or it's a negative if it's positive is a sheratia fecalis and if it's negative then it's streptococci bovis okay guys i'm sure this is really very helpful for you i'm sure this was a really awesome video and i'm sure you're gonna share this video you're gonna thumb up this video okay and please do subscribe to our channel and please 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 tell your friends to subscribe thank you so much for watching this video take care